a lot. All right, so Chris, you are? Game Show Network. And Jessica and Scott are? Mystery. Mystery. And Roseanne is? Relationship Advice. And Rob is? Cartoon Network. Excellent. Let's see what's on TV. Jessica and Scott. I have arrived here at your call, Mrs. Wellington. Uh, it appears my husband is dead. <laughs> Lord Wellington is dead? He is dead. He was found dead in the garden with several holes in his back at about my height, but that's neither here nor there. Have you poked him with a stick to be sure that he is dead? Roseanne. What we have here is a classic communication gap. When you poke holes in your partner and they are no longer breathing, it really puts a damper on the relationship. Communication is the key. Talk about your feelings. Share. Emote. Touch. Rob. Slappy, what's the name of the band on stage? Who? That's why I'm asking you. Who's on stage? Yes. <laughs> no. Who's on stage? Yes. Is there a band? Is the band on stage? No, the band plays later. Who's on stage? Band. Chris. Stage. You see the name of the band on stage? No. Who's on stage? All right. Chris. All right, panel. Dumb Dora was so dumb that when someone asked her for a bite to eat, she blanked. Rob. I'm going to get that wabbit. I'm going to kill the wabbit, kill the wabbit, kill the wabbit. Oh, mighty warrior of great fighting stock. Might I inquire? Roseanne. <laughs> now, here's another example of a man who is saying that he wants to find someone to date, but he constantly does cartoon voices, that's okay down the road, but I don't think you should lead with that. It gives people a very strong idea and can be off-putting. Scott and Jessica. I'm telling you, I couldn't have done it. I was in the pantry with the butler. Hmm. Yes, yes, your whereabouts, those are important. Sometimes a tempting food, like strawberry shortcake, placed within reach of the presumed corpse will wake them from their reverie. Have you tried this? I can assure you my husband is dead. He's completely dead. Mm. Not partially dead, completely dead. He's not pining for the fjords or anything of this nature. Mm. He is dead. Well, I, I would hate to go into the library and deal with someone who presumably is dead, only to find that they were faking it all. Chris. No, I'm sorry. The answer was thermonuclear fission. Of course, everyone knows that the answer to that question would be thermonuclear fission. Sorry, you lose the daily double. Rob. A seaweed is always dreamer in somebody else's lake. You dream about going up there. Well, that is a big mistake. Just look at the world around you, right here on the ocean floor. Such wonderful things surround you. What more is you looking for? Oh, oh, under the sea. Roseanne. So what you saw with Mrs. Wellington was how well she knew her husband. Even though he was dead, she knew he was not pining for the fjords. On Jessica the and Scott. Look, I am kicking him repeatedly in the head and he's still not getting up. And yes. scene. <laughs> <laughs>